Hello, I'm Black Ops Inc's production, uh, Max, and today I'm going to bring you a sound guide. Now, to start off with, it's going to be very basic, and then I'm going to lead into some more complicated things that just make your sound have a little bit more, you know, um, dynamics to it, you know, make it sound a little bit better, um, gives it a bit more feel. So, first of first is, um, obviously everyone knows this one, just, you know, put your uh, cursor at the very corner on the blue dots on the edges and drag them across. Now this gives a fade effect, which starts off quiet and goes to loud like this. Now as the song already has that in, it's a little bit hard to tell, but um, you can hear the difference. Um, now that's pretty much done. There's also another way to make the whole sound quieter is by putting your cursor at the very top till you see the up and down arrows and drag down. This will make the whole song quieter. Um, this is good for commentaries um, when you want the music to be a bit quieter without using this volume button here. Right, now I've got those easy ones out of the way, we have some other ones. Now th this, these are a bit more handy. Uh, the first one I'm going to show you is how to make sound oscillate between the speakers. So from left to right and right to left or whatever you want to do with it. So the first thing you want to do is, um, it depends what Sony Vegas you're on, some of them have a bar down here, some of them have this little um, red sort of starfish icon thing. So you want to click on that and go show automatic controls. Now what this will do is it will give you a bit more, um, an easier range of you know, how to change your pan, which is um, changing from speaker to speaker. So the first thing you'll do is you click on it and you'll get this red line. Now if I drag this all the way down to the bottom, it is now panned 100% to the right. Oops, my bad. 100% to the right. So if we listen to this, it'll just come through the right speaker. Now in this example, it starts off at the right and then slowly builds up, just like the graph shows here, into the center. Um, if you want to make more points along the line, you'd basically just click on the double click on the line and you can get more points and you can drag them around. Um, be careful about how much you drag them around because sometimes your speakers can crackle from the change if it's too much. So here's a quick example here. As you can see that it sort of sounds really bad, it's because it's kind of gone a bit overboard there. Um, yeah, so that's this basic effect. Um, another one is basically, the, it's a volume controller, so you can also have the blue line. It gives you a bit more dynamic over the volume. You can sort of mix it around and you know, add more points. As again, double click to add another point and you can change the volume. Um, it gives you more of a timeline, so you can mess around with it like this. Like so. Um, another guy, another trick is really, I'll just forget this, delete this, grab a new one back in, give me a second, right, uh, I'll turn this off, right, another trick with this, um, let me just, okay, so, another trick with this is to actually, um, make an underwater sound effect, now, you may have seen this in montages where people may go behind a billboard or something in there intro may pop up and the music sounds like your head's underwater like it's got a boom 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 sort of sound to it so what we're going to do to do that is let me remember how to do this oh yeah okay right so if i want to make a section of it let's just say i want to do um i think it's all to the right side at the moment let me just pan this short amount of controls yeah that's why there you go Pull this back up to the center. That's why it's sounding so horrible. Sorry about that. So, if I want to choose, let's say, this piece here that I want to put into the center, what I'm going to do is I'm going to split the clip. Split the clip. So this is going to be the quietened piece, um, with like the lower bass or whatever the hell it does to it. I'm going to drag this down to the line below, and then I'm going to drag this one out either side. Just drag it. Out. Not, not, um not extend it like make it slow motion but just drag it out to the sides and then what we're going to do is drag the fade across like this on each corner now what this will do is it'll make it sound basically exactly the same which means it's going to be smooth right after we have done this the next step is to click on your bottom click clip of sound and click on this little green icon here it says track fx it's a green bar with two dots on either side and that's going to bring up this weird thing here. Now what you do is, 
the number four, you drag it down and drag it across, and this will give you that underwater sound effect. You can mess around with any of these however you want to. Some of them give you high pitched sounds, low pitch, or whatever you want to do. So this sound effect is like this. I'll turn this off my speakers a little bit. Like that. Now that's an extreme example. I wouldn't push it that far. I'd probably drag it back a bit like this. It gives you that nice sort of you know beat sound. Like that. Um last thing I can do to this is I delete, sorry, I'll just control C C C C C back. There we go. Um the last thing we can do to this is change let me just double check this pen okay. Still through that one. There we go. So the last thing we're going to do to this is make sure that when you start off, like the volume, this the the blue arrow here, you want to you don't want it to like just burn your ears out when it hits this. So basically, what we're going to do is right click on the keyframe, and you can do slow fade, fast fade, linear fade, whatever you want to do, and this will just fade the music in a bit slower. Basically, instead of making the line curve up like this one here, it makes it curve down, so it gives you a more gradual fade in. And then when it hits the beat, you hit the beat. Um, the last thing I can show you, actually, is the marker points. So if you've ever seen people sync montage and stuff, it's made easier by people marking out the beat. Now, if I scroll in here, you can see the beat on like it changes. See the oscillation is it goes up, 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 and then it goes super fast up, up, up. So before it hits this, you move across keyframes. And you can hit M and sort of over here M. And that's just the two beats. So if you're editing or syncing, you can sync your bullet shots to that or whatever. And you can oscillate um, like from left to right using the marker points. You know, you just double click on the M of the volume and double click there and you know whatever you want to do. And you make a change sound like like that over a beat or something. So yeah, that's pretty much it for this guide. Um, I hope you enjoyed. Subscribe, rate, and comment. Um, if this was helpful, please like it and you know, thumbs it up. Uh, yeah, thank you. Bye.